you know what? I'm playing hooky. This, uh, this ain't work. And that's okay. Hey, if you're new to the channel, my name is Eric. Thank you for clicking on my video. I am going to one of my favorite places to eat, yet I rarely eat here. Why? My girlfriend doesn't care for it. It uh, kind of makes her sick. And I'm just that kind of guy. I, I can eat anything, man. I mean, I could eat a peanut butter sandwich or a can of corn or half a cracker or a Godfather's pizza. As long as I am chewing and swallowing, I'm probably happy. That being said, though, today, brother, today I'm going to my favorite restaurant. Wherever you live, you have one near you, too. It's probably just not your favorite. Don't judge me. But you know what? Can you guess? Can you guess where I'm going? I'm uh, not going to tell you yet. But through the magic of science, I will hit the button on my GoPro and uh, get us a little bit closer. Getting closer. I can almost see it from here. Up ahead, you probably can't through the camera. Unless maybe you're on like a 72 inch screen, but up ahead, there's a uh, Wendy's. I think off in this plaza right here is a Hot Heads. On up past there is a McDonald's, Taco Bell, Speedway, Burger King. Where do you suppose I'm going? I have come to a stop. It's a good sign, right? It means I have reached my destination, but um, you'll never guess where. But anyway, if you would have guessed my favorite place to eat is fast, yes, you, you would probably be pretty close. So yeah, I have picked up some food, but I am not yet to my favorite place to eat. Are you a little bit confused? Eh, surely not. We are headed that way now though. Through the magic of high tech, I can click a button on this remote. I can get you there a little sooner, how about that? Current situation. We made it. We made it to my favorite place to eat. This is nice. This is nice, this is relaxing. Quiet. This is in the shade. So now you know where my favorite place to eat is. The Taco Bell, the Mountain Dew. That's bonus. But the bottom line here is I would rather eat out in a park somewhere than in a restaurant. That's just me. <laughs> Look at this view. Come on, admit it. That's a pretty cool view. Come on, admit it. Nice view, ain't it? You know what? That was nice. That was relaxing. And that, my friends, is my favorite place to eat. Somewhere out in the park, under a tree, close to some moving water. My food of choice is I don't care, honestly. It could be Taco Bell. It could be Burger King. The home of the Whopper. It could be McDonald's. I don't care. The food is not what I'm there for. I'm there for an ambiance. Is that the word? Ambiance? I'm there for an environment that I don't have to pay for. Go into a nice restaurant. I'm talking a nice one where the AC is up and there's a little candle burning and music's playing. Some waitress in her 40s comes limping out, takes your order. 
And she's like, okay, I'll go back and tell the cook to start cooking this stuff. You're pretty obligated to give her a big old tip. And your bill's going to be expensive. On the other hand, you hit that McDonald's. You hit that Burger King or that Taco Bell. Dude, they have a dollar menu. I didn't eat off the dollar menu. I'm just saying, they have one. And, I, like I said though, I'm really not, it's not the food that I'm there for. It's really not, bro. I'm just there to get it quick. Get out of there, get back on the bike, and go out to a park. Now my plan was to eat real quick and keep on rolling. But you know what? I got a little too relaxed. I sat there and ate and drank. Next thing you know, I was like, I'm getting sleepy. Am I really going to take a nap in this park? Oh, God, no. So we're back on the bike rolling back down the road. Life couldn't be better. Hopefully this video provides a little bit of inspiration. Every now and then you just gotta take a day where you don't go to work. You are on vacation. Just take a day where you go get something to eat, head to your local park and sit there appreciate just appreciate what is left of nature I feel like over the years the parks are shrinking down a little bit some are becoming houses some are becoming farmers fields but the free stuff in the world the beaches the parks the fishing ponds them uh, seem to be going away couple more generations and who knows all that stuff might just be a subscription that might be something you pay for to watch on YouTube I don't know but I do know I will take this over anything and that being said hey if you haven't already please like my video subscribe to my channel and uh, send me a million dollars other than that I will see you all the next time wait Let's go around this awesome curve, and then I will shut the camera off.